So the widow decided to humble bless CEO and Abu Salami, left out Dami Crane and Sam Clef. I was thinking it's going to include humble Dami Crane and Sam Clef all together. We all understand there is freedom of speech and freedom of expression, but freedom after expressing yourself and freedom after speech is what is not guaranteed. I don't understand how someone, you don't know the situation of anything, something that has to do with debt, then you are blaming one particular party, just like Blessed CEO. Blessed CEO, because of bad talk from her lover then, IVD, because of bad talk, Blessed CEO took it upon herself to call her David over a debt that doesn't really concern her. Well, Abu Salami, of course, we know what happened. Abu Salami called out uh, David Doe for 215 million naira. Abu Salami quoted, he said, I'm going to deal with you. I'm going to humiliate you. If your father talk put for the matter, I will humiliate your father Dwayne. If IG of police talk for the matter, I will humiliate IG of police Dwayne. That's exactly, those are the words from Abu Salami. But guess what? Abu Salami was invited, or if not arrested, maybe was invited and put in the back of the counter. You know, if you call police station, police station transfer you to back of counter. <laughs> that means in few minutes time or few hours, you go enter, they will just enter inside the cell. Put up for sale, put up for sale. I witnessed it all. They have put me in back of counter before. I thought it was just counter. But after some few minutes, they say, one officer came, he said, what are they doing here in counter? They said, nah, they have kids. They said, oh yeah, put them for sale, put them for sale. That's why I tell you, uh, inside cell, play, play. So we don't know the situation of Abu Salami, but well, we saw pictures of him giving statement, writing something. It looked like he was writing the statement, trying to sharpen his barrel. But bless his CEO, we can tell that she was released. After she gave her own statement. I think she may apologize because she said she have been humbled by David O. David O humble, like kind of like this. Say, calm down, woman. So she came online talking about how she have been humbled, about the David O case, about everything. Which I'm going to play you the video though. I'm going to play the video. But let us still drag the issue a little bit. Blessed CEO made the allegation based made the allegation based on bad talk. IVD they whisper to his to her here. The blessed CEO carried the matter put for head. Call the talk him. They call out the video. How can you call out someone? You don't know when the transaction take place. You just call that person out. So let's listen to this video. How are you guys doing? I actually had to do this live because a lot of people are bombarding my phone. There's a video of me circulating that I was arrested. I was detained. No, I wasn't arrested. I was invited by the police um, for some sort of investigation. So I'm fine. Um, when you are invited, it simply means the police want to hear what happened is like hearing from both sides do you understand a lot of people are actually ignorant when they see a police inv in invitation they start to circulate rumor that ah blessing has been arrested no the police invited me because somebody wrote a petition against me and they wanted to hear the, my own side of the story i've shared my own side of the story and um i also want to teach you guys something we learn on the job Okoro Blessing did not start relationship therapy as a relationship therapist. I started relationship therapist as a blogger. You know, I just like to talk about relationship. When I saw that I was good in it, I decided to go and get my certification. Then when I was doing relationship therapy, I was the owner of Brick or Makeup Therapy, the most controversial blog, what Insta blog was doing. I started, I started off with Insta blog. Yes. 
So I used to be a blogger that blogs about relationship. What Juro does is what I started with. When I saw that I was very good in relationship therapy, I decided to go and start getting certificates and certifications to become a certified relationship therapist. I was able to get certifications from different honorable um, certification processes um, as a relationship therapist. It was when I got certified that I resigned. She says she is good with relationship advices. Kai, I've said it before. If you are asking a girl out and that girl they follow the CEO, please, please, my guy, run from that girl. No matter the amount you don't spend on that girl, leave that girl. Ah! Certification. <laughs> well, I even don't want to play more of that video because she is going to take much of her time. I do not want to dwell on the CEO explaining what happened. The bottom line is that it was actually David Doe that invited her to talk. And uh, honestly speaking, my question to her from the police, I think I'm going to ask if I'm the, in the officer interrogating her, is that when IVD told you this, as a relationship therapist or someone who is well aware of his uh, of her environment, did you do proper investigation before calling out the next party? Did you do your investigation? Did you reach out to David O? No. I think she's liable for some talk, honestly. I myself, I am really, really careful when it comes to allegations. I've never openly <laughs> speak that, yes, I saw you do this or I, I point this out to you. Like, never, I will never do that. I get a lot of messages of people accusing people or people accusing people. Like they're telling me, Adam Slink, this person act is doing this. I will never be the first person to say, you did this. What proof do I have? What proof do I have? No. No no proof at all. So, you really need to be careful. Even though you'll be going to police case, uh, police station every day, every day, every day, because you are the one making those allegations. So, you have, the IVD was accusing uh, David Doe of uh, 200 or something uh, million naira. And obviously, after the whole accusation, if you check IVD page, and some other proof online, you saw a lot of campaign David O did for IVD. We all saw them, guys. Let's be honest, we saw them. And honestly, if you are judging by the caliber of David O, you will automatically, from your own judgment, judge everything, because I judge everything, what I can see, and David O has even, like, done, Everything that 200 since something million have to do when it comes to campaign, he has already fulfilled his obligations when it comes to that. Already fulfilled all the obligations when it comes to that. So I even said after listening, seeing David O's part of the story from his lawyer and everybody, I even said, see. There is no need for David Doe to even pay a dime. Honestly, if I'm David Doe, I won't pay a dime. Because this whole deal eh, is trickish. Trying to get sponsorship. It's not as if you have the money or brand. You are trying to use David Doe to get sponsorship. So it's all about crime and everything. So now IVD, uh, sorry, I say uh, uh, Abu Salami is being held on the count of uh, uh, fraud and so many other stuff as well. It's not only David Doe's case now. You know they open. They open. So I think it's uh like like he said, he said it's ready. It's ready to fight David Doe. It's ready to disgrace the ID the IG of police. Not just ID of uh, IG of police. He's ready for everybody. <laughs> so since he's ready, uh uh, he should face uh, the court now. He should definitely face the court since he's ready. According to the person who uh, posted it, they said Abu, Abu Salami, who accused David Doe falsely of owing him 216 million naira, have been arrested for cyber bullying, stalking, and signature forgery. Ah, 
signature forgery. I'll be you the forge uh, the video signature for things. <laughs> signature forgery alone is liable to some years, years imprisonment to in Nigeria. And again, Abu Salami as a there was boasted that he, I, his hands were clean, but uh, your hands were not clean. No. The guy was arrested. There is there is his, his uh, pictures are there. It's not that innocent like he claimed. Huh? It's not that innocent like he claimed. Well, it's all good though. I wish them all the best. This is what I like. If somebody accuses you or you feel like somebody is suppressing you, go to court. Go to court. Don't waste your time. Go to court. Don't call anybody out. Abu Salami, I thought Abu Salami submitted a petition. Submitted a petition and this and that. Well, David Doe already said that nobody should beg him when he starts. For once, eh? For once, I want David Doe to go to the letter of this matter. Go to the letter of this matter. Go to the letter of this matter. Go to it, guys. Go to uh, David Doe. Go to the letter of this matter. You know? Go to it. Go to the letter. So, guys, uh, that should be all. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Oh, before I forgot, what about Peruzzi? <laughs> you know, Peruzzi was uh, supporting Davido when Dami Cray was insulting Davido. You know what Peru did? Peruzzi did. <laughs> very insulting. Peruzzi decided to surprise Dami Cray. Peruzzi transferred the sum of 50,000 naira to Dami Cray. In his words, he said Dami Cray is hungry and he knows Dami Cray is broke, but he just wanted to use this small 50,000 to support him. Can you imagine? Eh? Can you imagine Peruzzi? Uh -uh. That is clear insult. And Dami Cray never returned the money to Peruzzi. <laughs> he said, Take 50,000 at each year. Make you leave the video matter alone. And we are still waiting for Sam Clef. You know, Sam Clef, they don't need to also you know, come for Sam Clef as well so that we will know who will win. You know, this fight is all good though, for the for social media. Honestly, as long as it doesn't involve life, they can sue to call, they can show minds. It's good. Social media, I like the fight. Honestly, I absolutely love the fight. 